The chair. Yes, sir. I understand that this is a, the same wording with the exception no. of pointing out the children's room is in the basement. Yes. As we had at the last meeting. Yes. Therefore, I move that we uh, approve Article 30, which I do not support presently, uh, and accept it as having been read at this meeting. Well, we're not, wait a minute. Thank you. We're not moving to approve. We're moving to recommend. But just, I just want to make sure we're here. And who seconded? I'll second and Mr. Henderson seconded. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Um, thank Madam you. Chair, if I might uh, correct the record, uh, last night's uh, Board of Selectmen's meeting, uh, town management uh, gave some disinformation saying that the budget committee had suggested the change to refer to the basement that these windows are located in. The budget committee made no such suggestion, Madam Chair. I want the record to be Try clear that on that. Again? Pardon? Do that again. Okay. At the Board of Selectmen's la meeting last night, town management said that the budget committee had suggested that this article reflect that the children's room is in the basement. I suggested that. You suggested it. The budget committee did not, and I want the record to be clear on that, that the budget committee did not make such a suggestion. No Thank one, you, Madam Chair. No one hollered at me when I... Well, I, I'm not going to holler at any member giving their opinion, but no one member speaks for the whole committee. Uh, oh, dear. Um, questions? Thank you, Amanda, because I think that was clarifying, and, and it was nice that you added it. Mr. Henderson? Yeah, I personally, uh, the other day, went over and visited the library, and I checked into this uh, project that wants to be done. And, you know, when we first talked about it, we were talking about, you know, you, know, you could build, you know, windows in certain people's homes for this amount of money, but when you go over and you actually take a look at what they need to do, it's really a worthwhile project, and it's something that, you know, you have to cut into bricks, you have to cut in, cut a big section out there, good-sized windows, they're a special window, uh, the aesthetics of the building still has to be, you know, you can't compromise that, so if you haven't seen what really needs to be done, it is, it's a good project, it's, uh, there's a lot to it, it's not just, you know, throwing windows in somebody's house, you know, like a home. This is something that aesthetically it's correct. They're good size windows and they're a special window, which, you know, you're going to talk in labor and you're talking probably a really good price as far as to purchase some windows. And hopefully we have some kind of a breakdown on that tonight to, uh, to go over what we spoke about. Today. Go ahead, Amanda. Mm -hmm. Sure, absolutely. So I wanted to tell you a little bit about the children's room, what we do down there. So um, there are three story times per week down there. Um, that's almost every week of the year. We also host off-site story times, so people will, um, our librarians will go to area preschools. Yeah. Um, there are also weekly crafts, and that's year-round. Um, currently, of all of the items that are circulated, 25% of that is children's materials, so they're a quarter of all of our business is children's room business. Um, they account for 45% of all of the programs we host, so storytellers, authors, craft events, athletic events, anything like that. To date, we've done 189 uh, programs with 5,810 people coming. So 62% of all people who come to the library for a program are coming for a children's program. Break down of the budgeting a little bit. Um, we had two construction firms help us to establish the, bu the budget that's in this article. Um, labor is the largest component to the breakdown. It accounts for 25% of the overall costs. The masonry, which is the cutting into the brick and changing the structure of a, of a standing building, is another 24%. The windows themselves, all three of them together, account for just 24% of the article. Um, and then engineering, the lintels and the rebar, finishing mechanicals and the overhead account for the other 25%. And you comfortable with the dollar amount that you have in there? Yes. Dick and I worked on yeah. this together. Yeah, definitely. We wanted to be on the higher side because of the engineering work <coughs> and the masonry. We wanted to make sure we had enough funds in there to accomplish our task and we do think we do have it. He's a good man with figures. Sonny? Yeah. Bill Tessick retired, right? He did. How much, did, what was his budget line? What was he paid including benefits? I don't have that number in front of well, me. Well, I looked in last year's, it was 62000 but that didn't include benefits. Okay. So, figure another fifteen twenty thousand. 20000 Okay. What? what you haven't replaced them. You've got a, somebody that's not working at that level. You could pay for the windows yourself. You're saying the saving in the former assistant librarians. Yeah, well, uh, he was the, tech, he was right. the IT and the assistant director. He retired after 40 years. Yeah. 
Right. And, he, you know, that, and we miss him. Okay. So there's a lot of money in the budget to Excellent. take some funding. Excellent. Uh, there, there is some uh, offset. All of the positions in the library are, are staffed. We have not left something right. open. Every position is filled. Right. You're uh, just not paying at that level of seniority yes. in 2017. That's certainly true. Correct. Okay. Further questions, Mr. Ladd? Is there a safety feature in putting in these windows? Absolutely. Could you so explain that a bit? I will. Um, this oh, is good. a map of the lower level of the library where the red stars are. If I can get my light on. That's one emergency exit for the lower level. That's the other. From the children's room, you have to travel through at least one other room to get out of the building. These new windows where this green star is would be an emergency exit. You'd be able to exit from the children's room directly to the outside of the building, not having to travel through any other space within the library, not trying to leave the space you're in, being able to get directly outside of the building from this emergency exit. So yes. Okay. Tim? Does it conform as a legal egress? We have received the elements that we would need to make it a legal egress from Bill Payne from the fire department, and we intend to make sure that this window would comply. And the building department as well? The building department... Dick, you looked me, into this, right, Dick? They told me to ask the fire department who has the... Uh, who yeah. carries the... <laughs> yeah, the fire department has cognizance over this. Uh, the center window, you know, we're putting in three windows. Yeah. The center one will be used as the emergency exit, the egress. That will actually be larger. Okay. It'll be 36 instead of 30 inches to meet the fire code as, a, as a legal one? egress. How do they get out the window? How did they get out the window? We put a ladder in there, but there's also a desk right in front of it. So pretty Something you could stand on. They have yeah. You could stand on it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's, it's but more, it's an emergency exit. It's more akin to a, uh, a fire escape than it is a door that would normally use as an egress, right? Yeah, I guess yeah. you could say that. Yeah. Okay. And, and Sonny, Sonny made a point that I guess you you, you like <coughs> the project, you're just not com you're just not comfortable with the funding mechanism being used. Is that right? Well. Uh, what I'm trying to point out is there's plenty of money in the budget for the, their existing budget. It's 800 and some odd thousand dollars. Okay, no, that's not quite accurate yeah. because the 2016 budget is done now. And I the understand. saving was in the 2016 budget. Well, my question budget. to Sonny was whether he's, whether he's okay me, with the project. He's just challenging the financing mechanism. Let me point something yes, else out. They, this, what's the balance of the Citizens Bank? Oh, the trust funds? Mm. No, it's the what? The non, but the non. The trustees of the account. library hold funds in a citizen's account in the amount of oh, seventeen, eighteen thousand. Oh, you know what? I don't have that. I'm sorry. You told us the last time. But I did. I don't remember. It's the and amount in the citizen's account is not enough to cover this article. And the uh, and the Vanguard accounts are what, a hundred and seventeen? Or it's yes. probably close to a hundred and twenty thousand now. You can fund this yourself. Right. I mean, there's so, so many expenses. It was three weeks ago you asked the same question, and I can give you the answer, which is that's 38% of that entire fund. I would not recommend anyone take what they consider but their rainy day money and spend 38% of it, because then when it rains, you'll have a real trouble. That's, it, it's not a prudent use of the library's only emergency fund. Oh, Andy, you're aware of all the problems in the DPW and, and the Academy? Sure. You know, oh, yes. I mean, Whatever. Your, your rainy day fund point is well taken, mm -hmm. but when you consider the enormity of the uh, financing and this warrant, not your article specifically, but the entire warrant, you can be confident there'll be several people in this town that will be having to take from their rainy day fund to pay their taxes. So using this route, somebody is taken from their rainy day fund as well. Okay. So while I understand your point, it's a question of who's ready to fund I care more about. Is that elderly person who's just barely hanging on. Just barely hanging on financially. And maybe, you know, one tax dollar away from falling down. That's the one that's in my mind. If a majority of the town citizens are not Where worried the about the rainy day fund. Yeah, the hell with the minority of that are suffering. I understand. They're in support of the article, Tim. That's I understand. The whole the majority in this town, in my opinion, is sensitive enough to be aware that there are a minority of people in this town who are barely hanging on, and will give proper consideration to that. That is why I'm making that statement. Yeah, that's that's, that's really up. The question is, is the project worthwhile? Do we approve the project? 
here as well as with the selectmen and then we go to the voters and let them decide at least that's the way I think the system's supposed to work here. <coughs> in fact, the system way it's be, supposed to work. It'll be that's discussed correct. at the public meeting as well as at the uh, at the budget committee session, so. as well as the budget committee. Correct. That's what we're doing. Yeah. All right. Okay. Are we all set on comments and questions? You understand <coughs> the intent of the article? Okay. Uh, article. Oops. Thirty. Thirty. In favor of recommending to the public and to the public hearing. Hands. Okay, Bridal, uh, Barnes, Henderson, um, Augustine, okay, took a minute, and Ladd, opposed, uh, Pierce, and Kravitz, and Lapham, Plus, and Jones, and Marr. And the chair is in favor. You have a vote on that, Tally? She's, we, we just just tell us, Barbara, if you need to clarify. Um, six people opposed. Uh, Pierce, Kravitz, Lapham, Fluff, six, 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 yes, six, Jones, six, and Mara. Okay. So this is the question where we have a tie vote. Is that correct, Barbara? Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, we have thirteen. Right. Absolutely. One is missing. One is missing. Yeah. So we're essentially we're essentially tied because LeBranch is not here. I understand. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. A point of procedure, please. Yes. This is exactly the situation that we're trying to bring up in prior meetings with regard to rules. Last year, or the year before, rather, we had. Um, we had rules in place that said you cannot call for a new vote unless you were in the majority in the original vote. And on one of those votes, you may recall, Bob, there was no majority. It was a tie vote. And so we really need to address this now rather than getting to another argument later. Will a vote for reconsideration be allowed by anybody or not? Well, the motion failed. I, I understand. Six so, I, would suggest that, I would suggest that the rule ought to be that only those in the prevailing side can move to reconsider a vote. It already exists. No, that's the majority. There's a difference between it. Yeah. yeah that's so I would suggest that rule. I so move yeah. that we establish a rule that only those in, on the prevailing side of a motion can call for reconsideration of a vote. Can I get a second? I'll sure. I'll second that. Thank you. Okay, did Barbara get that? Mr. Jones so moved and Mr. Um, Pierce seconded. Let me make sure that she's. It's going to be a mess for the secretary. Sorry, uh, Mr. Kravis. Mr. Pierce no, seconded. Michael do it. Had two hands up, but Mr. Pierce's hand was a fraction of a second. Okay. All right, I will call for a vote to say yay or nay to Mr. Jones's proposal as far as procedure is concerned. In favor of the procedure? It's Robert's rules. Mr. Mr. Pierce? Yes, that is. Kravitz, Henderson, Fluff, Jones, and Marr. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Opposed? Um, Bridal, yeah. Barnes, Lapham, Lad. I'm going to shock you. I'm going to abstain. Okay, so it prevails. <laughs> Six, five, one, right? Joke. Um, okay. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, just so you know, now that now that we've established that rule, I want you to know I still have my ears open on the topic, and I am now in a position to move to reconsider at the public hearing. So what is this going forward? Anyway, so. well, it's, it's going forward to the public hearing as not recommended by the budget committee. At the public hearing, it can be reconsidered by a motion from someone on the prevailing side, no. which is... So uh, you're no, saying that late. because we voted not to Wait, recommend... enough. All right. At the public hearing, if any of these articles can only be reconsidered if someone from the public 
brings them up and addresses them. It right. has nothing to do. That's correct, but only a member of the prevailing side can make the motion. Yes, when we. That's the point I'm making. At the end. Yeah, okay. So my ears are open, Dick, okay? All right. Thank you very much for coming in. It will show as a tie <coughs> to neither to recommend or to not recommend. No, to not recommend. No, you can't recommend it. It's a tie. Six, six. Six, six. To five with one six to five. That's, right. that's, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the motion, that's the motion on the rule. Right. Oh, six, six. The motion no. on the library is a 6-6 six, 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 tie. Yes. The motion was to approve. I, that was a 6-6 six, six tie. That failed. A right. tie is a fail. Mm -hmm. And when right. we have a yeah. failed vote, that means not recommended. Yep. But it will show as a tie. Yes, it will show 6-6. Six, six. And we're not going to be here all night. Thank you both for coming in. We appreciate your hard work. It's nice Thanks to again. see you. It was nice to be back to the Budget Committee. <laughs>